All right, today I'm back with the fling thermal on the end of the winch or the uh, high start already. And this is attempt number three at trying to get a decent video of this thing. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's start. Whoops, that was a bad throw. It's a better launch than I've been getting the rest of the morning. And over here in the shade. It's uh, 20 degrees Celsius already at uh, 8. Now it's probably getting closer to 9 now uh, a.m. And uh, uh, they say it's going to hit 32 today. Oh, there's some left. Maybe. Let's see. I wish this one had an altimeter in it. Uh, it's nice having that in, in my other ones. Well, one minute already and uh, we're still that high. We must be catching something. A little bit of bubble or even just some uh, ridge lift or whatever you want to call it coming off of the trees. Oh, there. I think I drifted too far out. Whoop. One nice thing uh, I do notice with this is uh, oh, a full rudder and it won't there it goes. Uh, it does recover from a stall really fast. Like it takes all you do is give it a little jab up elevator once it gains just the tiniest bit of speed back, and uh, it's right back out flat again and happy. So it is a neat little glider. I guess that's just the lightweight part of it. Oops, see like there it just drops a tiny bit and then it's flying again. Oops, found some sink. Two minutes, that's not bad. Not the most exciting uh, videos, but uh, just thought I'd give you a little v show of what the Fling 2 is. Or sorry, Fling Thermal. And it gets really exciting once I get down and under the tree line and into the turbulence. Uh, this thing is not responsive. Ooh, let's go this way. I have found lift right out over this corner before with my DL oh, there it is. With my DLGs. Oh, there's yeah. Eesh, come on, turn. Yeah, getting the turn initiated in this uh, confined space is not always the easiest. There we go. See if we can get her back. No, oh, that was full up. Anyway, just a quick video of the fling thermal. Um, the well, yeah, three minutes. The tail is orange because I used the heat gun on it when it was new, trying to get the wrinkles out, and I overdid it, and one of the seams separated. Uh, so I redid it in the best color I had. And uh, yeah, other than that, it's, uh, there's nothing done to it. It's just a stock plane, rubber bands holding the wing on. I'm running a E-Flight 1-Cell 500. These are Emax uh, 9051, it looks like. My eyes are not the best up close like this. Um, and I... Hot, or hot glued them, or no, maybe that's epoxy. I think I epoxied them in rather than using the screws. And they're pull strings for both surfaces. And you can see the lightning holes that they uh, put in them. Nice little plane. And this is uh, this little ding here. That's from that tree yesterday. I uh, got stuck with the crosswind and didn't want to turn out over the pond to get away from the, uh, or to get the turn. So I ended up flying into the tree rather than having to take the boat out to get it back. But anyway, uh, I'll, uh, hopefully the weather's nice all day today again, and I'll uh, have a few more videos for you the rest of the day. Uh, like I said, it is going to get pretty darn hot, so uh, I might be hiding inside for most of the afternoon, but uh, I'll do what I can, get a, get a few more today anyway. 
the breeze is just starting to come up so I'm going to put this away. Alright, have a good day and thanks for watching.